Good morning, I'm Dr Natalie Cleese and this is the New South Wales Health COVID-19 update for Sunday the 9th of January 2022. Across New South Wales, 95.1% of people aged 16 and over have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and 93.7% have received two doses. Of the people aged 12 to 15, 81.5% have received a first dose of a COVID-19 vaccination and 78.1% have received two doses. There are currently 1,927 COVID-19 cases admitted to hospital, with 151 people in intensive care, 38 of whom require ventilation. There were 30,062 cases of COVID-19 reported in New South Wales from in the 24 hours to 8pm last night. More than 98,000 COVID-19 tests were reported during this period. Sadly, New South Wales Health is reporting the deaths of 16 people, 8 women and 8 men, aged in their 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. 7 people were from South Western Sydney, 2 people were from South Eastern Sydney, 2 people were from Western Sydney, 2 people were from Sydney's Inner West, 1 person was from the Central Coast, 1 person was from the South Coast, and one person was from Northern Sydney. New South Wales Health expresses its sincere condolences to their families and loved ones. Next week, public health orders will be updated to include a requirement that people report their positive rapid antigen test results. This will help ensure that positive cases are provided with support and advice about how they can manage their symptoms and when they might need to seek extra medical support. You do not need to get a PCR test to confirm your positive rapid antigen result but you should immediately self-isolate for seven days. Please follow the advice for confirmed cases of COVID-19, including telling your household contacts that they should also seek testing via a rapid antigen test and isolate for seven days. If you are under 65 years of age, have had at least two doses of a COVID-19 vaccination, do not suffer from chronic health conditions and are not pregnant, you can safely manage your COVID-19 at home. If you are over 65, pregnant or have a chronic health condition that requires regular visits to hospital or your specialist or you and you are feeling unwell, please call the National Coronavirus Helpline or New South Wales Health COVID-19 Care at Home Support Line. If you develop severe symptoms, particularly severe headaches, severe dizziness, difficulty breathing, chest pressure or pain, please call triple zero straight away and tell the ambulance staff that you have COVID-19. We would also like to remind everyone across New South Wales to get vaccinated now if you have not had your first dose and to get your second dose and booster dose as soon as you are eligible. New South Wales Health is working with vaccination providers across the state in preparation for the rollout of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccination for children aged 5 to 11. This will begin tomorrow. If you are a parent or caregiver, we encourage you to make a booking for vaccination at any New South Wales Health vaccination clinic or through your GP or pharmacy. New South Wales Health's booster program continues to ramp up as more people become eligible. New South Wales Health has delivered more than 326,000 doses of the booster for vaccination to help people keep safe and increase their immunity for COVID-19. Booster doses of COVID-19 vaccine are now available for people aged 18 and over. If you are age 18 and over, you are eligible for your booster vaccine four months after receiving your second dose. New South Wales Health would also like to remind people aged 12 years and over who are severely immunocompromised to get their third primary dose of a vaccine at least two months after your second dose. Please remember to practice COVID safe behaviours, including wearing masks, washing and sanitising your hands regularly and physical distancing. If you are unwell with COVID-19 symptoms, please stay home and do not go out to work, school or to socialise. Please get tested and isolate until you receive a negative result. We would like to again thank you for all of your efforts to protecting your community. Please remember to get vaccinated. If you are unwell, stay home and get tested and above all else, keep safe. Thank you.